to Narain on international collaboration and what do you think about the most uh, common obstacles that researchers face to get their work published in high repute journals? Uh, thank you, uh, Jiga. Right? Liver. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's thank right. you. Uh, first, I would like to um, thank the organizers of this event, especially Dr. Prem Karwal, Meghna, for inviting me over to this uh, session. And my regards to Dr. A.K. Agarwal. And uh, a clinician we used to call, he can sniff out a diagnosis, right? Um, so to coming to, to your question, the obstacles that uh, researchers are facing, I would like to frame it this way, that the research ecosystem, especially in biomedical research or medical research, it is improving. It has really improved a lot in the last 10, 15 years. So has the number of papers that are being submitted to journals across the world, as well as the total number of publications that are appearing. We, we now are number three in the world as far as Scopus Index is concerned in terms of published papers. And a large chunk of these papers belong to biomedical research. At the same time, what we see is that the focus still is on sound research. And when you say that what can we do to publish in more influential journal or high impact journals, then we have to move towards significance. And that happens gradually and there are a lot of factors that would drive that. Research funding, training, uh, uh, what kind of research is being conducted. There are so many factors and I don't need to share those here they would know more about the research ecosystem in medicine in India better than me any day. And uh, these obstacles, I think, are kind of gradually improving. It's a slow journey. Nothing is going to happen overnight. And funding is extremely, extremely important to be able to publish impactful research in high-impact journals.